Do you think this is a real sapphire? Drop your best guess in the comments and let's figure out what this is. We'll start with my favorite tool, the refractometer. This helps us measure how gemstones bend light and they all bend light a little differently. Natural and synthetic sapphires measure around a 1.76, but this reading is much lower at around a 1.72 or so. And that's a common reading for blue spinel. So maybe this is a spinel. There's some serious color zoning here, which is not impossible, but it's unusual for spinel. On the other hand, we're not getting much of a blink. And that points to this being singly refractive, which spinel is. But sometimes inclusions or the viewing angle can give us false readings, and this is where the dichroscope really shines. If we see the same color in both squares, that means this is singly refractive and likely spinel. Going in, we're seeing really different colors, so that means this is doubly refractive and it cannot be spinel. These colors are so different, it almost looks like tanzanite, but our RI reading was too high for that. So what could this be? Let's try to learn more in the microscope. This gem has some incredible inclusions. First are these straight rutile needles, which we usually find in sapphire. Next, we have a pretty hilarious X-rated crystal inclusion, and looking at the, let's just say family jewels part, you can find two red dodecahedral shaped crystals, which means these are likely garnet crystal inclusions. And the only gem that matches all of our tests is kyanite. So did you get this one right? 